Hello everyone, this is the Volkswagen ID3 GTX 79 kilowatt hour battery, 1210 kilowatt motor, rear wheel drive, and today we're gonna do 110 kilometers an hour range test. I'm doing a charging test right now, charging to 90%, and then we go. It's a bit warmer now and almost sunny, I would say around 13 degrees. So it will be very interesting what this car can do. I just did 130 kilometers an hour range test. We go again <laughs> driving 113 on the speedometer GPS speed 100 uh, now the hill is gone <laughs> nine kilometers of uphill I'm driving like I said 113 uh, just said that huh? started with 90 percent I'm at 86 already I ha I'm in drive mode eco and I have the climate on auto at 21 and a half degrees if I'm cold I will turn up and turn it down if I'm warm so we'll see 12 and a half degrees out there it's way busier than in the morning and I see again the reason why I do my 130 tests in the morning not now because I couldn't drive the speed would be a lot of slowing down and accelerating and that's not good for consumption is it? I'm at 65%, used 25% of the battery and it was 120 kilometers that I have driven. So that's a full range of 480 kilometers. Consumption is 160 watt hours per kilometer. I have my heat now on 21. It's nice and warm, 15 and a half degrees. I don't think that the heat is doing too much. Even says it's cooling now, so it's not heating at all. Awesome and the drive at 110 with this busy road is okay. I'm happy. How is it to drive the ID3 GTX at 110? Sorry, but it's still loud. There is some noise in there that's not usual. I really don't think Walter, my ID3, had that. So, and even at 110 and I'm just guessing it's the tires I'm just guessing a uh, comfort is okay as always uh, uh, self-steering cruise control is all amazing I have my distance at one so I don't slow down too early when I have to pass someone the drive is nice I drove 160 kilometers and 160 watt hours per kilometer is my consumption. So everything, I have my drip, drip data in here, that's nice. Sound system sounds good. I have music on today. I'm gonna navigate soon back to the charger. I wanna arrive with around 20%. And I know where I have to turn around because I looked at my, I have a spec sheet where I know what distance it is and when I do that it's 328 kilometers that I have driven so that's all cool.
turned around. It's 104 kilometers back. Car tells me I arrive with 20%. That would be great. Don't think it thinks I'm driving. Don't think it thinks I'm driving 130. The time looks a bit off. I think that it will be more five, six minutes later. We'll see if I arrive with 20% or higher. Still have 200 kilometers of range at 45%. I used 50% of the battery, drove 241 kilometers, full range, so 482. My consumption is pretty stable at 160 watt hours per kilometer for a long time, for a very long time, I would say the last two hours. I still have 83 kilometers to go to the charger. Uh, it still thinks I arrive with 20%. Everything's cool. If you need a charging solution for your trip through your country or through all of Europe, then check out Maingau Autostrom. With Maingau, you can charge at over 550,000 charging stalls all over Europe. You can start your charging process with the app, with a card, or with this tiny little chip that you can have on your keychain. If you want to know more, there's a link in the description below. Arrived with 23%, drove 323, according to this, it's 328, according to Google. Still 160 watt hours per kilometer. When I take uh, the 328 kilometers and then I drove from 90 to 23%, I get to 489 kilometers of range. Here's all the data. And at home, we're gonna do a comparison to other cars. Now let's compare this result to other cars that I have tested and I'm going to do the 130 km an hour range test as well. And it's very interesting that with the 79 kilowatt hour battery the ID3 GTX has almost a same consumption in the 130 test even lower consumption but it was colder than the ID7 Pro S Tourer with the big battery 364 to 386 uh, kilometers difference that's very interesting and to the id7 tourer that had 20 inch sport tires which are horrible for consumption we even have a, just a tiny bit more consumption so and, and to my id7 it's it's uh, my id7 had less but it was in perfect conditions and in horrible condition i had higher consumption so and ID4, ID4 GTX has higher consumption than ID3 GTX. So the motor is really amazing. And when we go to the to the 110 kilometers an hour test, it's even more amazing because the ID7 Pro S Tourer was around the same temperature, eight and a half to 14 degrees, than what the ID3 GTX 10 to 17 degrees. And we get almost the same consumption, 157 to 158 watt hours per kilometer. The Pro S Tour had 19 inch wheels on though, that's very important. So it's the best range you can get out of the Pro S Tour. Uh, a normal, so not Tour would even be better. But we have 490 kilometers in the ID3 GTX and 535 in the Pro S. My ID7 had, yeah, in the winter uh, I had 389 with my ID7 and I never redid the test in the summer. But with 20 inch sport tires, the ID7 only had 426 in the summer. That's bad that's really bad it's 17 to 21 degrees so great temperature perfect temperature had the same consumption it was raining on that day i remember that um and had the same consumption than my my id7 at 130 <laughs> but again sport tires 20 inch and uh it was raining but the id3 gtx did really well uh, for that weather especially the the first test at 130 it was f 9 to 13 degrees in the dark 
and I needed heat and everything, I'm I'm surprised. It, and I'm not surprised <laughs> um, because of the great APP 550 motor. It did really, really well. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Battery Life One, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a few videos coming up soon on my third YouTube channel, Behind the Battery. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.